The TG, or Thargoid Pulse Neutralizer, is a more specialized and powerful variant of the Shutdown Pulse Neutralizer, designed to help penetrate Thargoid maelstroms. It does this by sacrificing effectiveness in general AX combat to provide a countermeasure against the impulse wave that Thargoid Titan ships use to push away unwanted vessels. TG pulse neutralizers are tech broker restricted modules that can only be acquired on a per unit basis. While the ingredients list isn't long, the one commodity it requires commanders to acquire is an unclassified relic, which is time-consuming and complicated to get. Stats for the TG Pulse Neutralizer are significant. It weighs more than twice as much as its predecessor, draws twice as much base power from your ship's reactor, but is also twice as durable. In order to protect a ship from the Titan Wave, this module sacrifices all ranged ability, and will only shield an individual ship from negative effects. No positive benefit can be granted to allies or team members. Where the previous shutdown pulse neutralizer required one second to fully charge, the TG pulse neutralizer requires two, and will only provide protection when fully charged. Active power draw from the distributor is 0.33 megawatts constant, don't let this small number deceive you. This module is a hungry beast that will burn through a smaller ship's capacitor. With good timing, it's possible, but extremely difficult to penetrate the core. Timing is key to success with this module, as pilots must balance a number of concerns simultaneously. The TG neutralizer only works when fully charged, so it must be deployed at least two seconds before a Titan wave strikes. While charging, and after full charge is achieved, power draw on the system's capacitor is significant, limiting the amount of time that the neutralizer can remain active. I was able to reach the core successfully with a Federal Corvette, and there are many instances of medium ships getting in across the community. It appears that capacitor depth is more important than recharge rate, though more experimentation is required before I can make a definitive statement about it. System-focused capacitor engineering may finally have a viable use case, though only for the purpose of sustaining a TF neutralizer for longer. It would remain a significant disadvantage in any combat situation within the Maelstrom core. After cycling, the neutralizer requires 10 seconds to reset for another cycle during which time your ship's system's capacitor must be able to charge enough to support a second cycle, and potentially a third, depending on how fast an individual ship is. Slower ships may need to deflect as many as three pulses, though most will be able to clear the risk area in two. The TG Pulse Neutralizer is a specialist module, and is only really relevant to commanders that wish to enter and explore the heart of a Thargoid maelstrom. Those who prefer conventional fighting in and around ports or settlements need not concern themselves with it, as a standard shutdown field neutralizer is more than adequate and even preferable for these fighting conditions. Ships that choose to equip this module must make considerations for combat and caustic environments, as the interior of a maelstrom is packed with potential threats which can become hostile at any moment. And the caustic layer of a maelstrom must be traversed twice for each run, once to enter and again to depart. Note that strong shields and other modules which load the system's capacitor are potential competition for the TG neutralizer and can make it harder to use by reducing the protection window it is able to provide. Hull armor, speed, or low operating temperatures are desirable attributes for any ship diving the depths, as are considerations for mining, as the core contains many resources that require these tools in order to be collected. All things considered, the TG Pulse Neutralizer was an inevitable addition to the AX ecosystem, which has been teased for several months now. 
While time consuming to acquire, the module isn't as essential as other offerings by tech brokers, and isn't something that all players need to concern themselves with. Usability is easy to understand, and a bit more difficult to master, though achievable for any player willing to make the required attempts. It's a welcome addition to the game, and one which exposes new content with additional lore, which many are interested to explore and understand. That's all I have for today, so I'll catch you all later.